さ、ね、ちなみにさ、すっごい待たしゆきさ、この雑談の勢いでも入れていい<笑>おー<笑>です、はい、okay、この、この和やかな、和やかな、和やかな感じでいくで。で、ちなみに、別に特段なんか、あの、隠し気があったこと全くせんきだ。みんなで、用意どんでいくで。はい。じゃあもう、用意どん。入りました。入ったかな入った。<笑>あ、入った、入った、入った、出た。おぉはい、はい。はい。はい、Hello. Hi. Sorry, I couldn't.、Uh... I couldn't join with the headphones,、oh. but now it's all、okay. good. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> good, good night to you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically, like, we are like very like, worldwide now. Like, she, even though like, we almost like all of us like Japanese, but wine's in UK,、cool. wine's in New York, and、okay. three of us in Tokyo.、Oh, no, yeah, Tokyo. Yeah. Amazing.、Yep. Amazing. So, like, time difference are、uh, quite busy. But,、yeah. um, <laughs> how are you? I'm doing fine. I am in New York as well. Whoever else is in New York, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> But,、um, no, I'm doing fine. Doing fine. It's,、um, I don't know, did Sho tell you? I just graduated from the MFA at Parsons. So, I was part of the 2020、oh. graduates. Oh,、um, really? Yeah. And,、um, I was one of the class, so they went with promoting a very select few of the class to, to kind of showcase the work. And I was one of the ones who just said I wasn't at a position to show. So I'm still actually working on my collection slowly while trying to do little bits of freelance here and there. So,、mm. you, know, you know how these big cities are. I'm sure it's not, not dissimilar in the UK and in Tokyo, where Kind of shit hit the fan and no one knows really what to do, but we're all just trying to do our thing. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. So it's slow and steady, but it's okay. <laughs> I see. Let's go. I mean, like, you know, this time,、um, so basically, you know, we, I want, you know, you guys to have like kind of like, you know, casual conversation based slash talking about the creation. Okay. So I think、yeah. uh, it's also、uh, lovely if you, you know, like you already mentioned that, like, you know, like experience, you know, in the MFA program seems like, you know, some of, you know,、um, them are going to apply MFA programs and then two of them are applying to BFA. So, okay, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> so then, right now, like the situation, I think I shouldn't. Yeah, explain. So maybe they,、yeah. they, 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 they could, you know, just like they're, talk about they're, that. They're used yeah, to、okay. your voice. <laughs> yes. So,、uh, yeah, let's,、uh, let's start. Like, you know, whoever wanted to start, introduce, you know. So,、uh, yeah. well, yeah. If,、um, so, kind of the way I work best, like, just like, like, you know, I've actually never really done this over Zoom. So it's all <laughs> a, little bit, it's a little bit new. So if I miss anything, just call me out. Just ask me questions. I'm, the, I'm easier to dis, like to di- have a discussion with like that than me、mm-hmm. because I have a tendency to just go uh, 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 and it just stays going. And then I cover nothing because I'm still talking about the same thing. So just ask me questions about anything. And yeah, just introduce yourselves. Tell me where you're at and、mm-hmm. wh- also what course you're. Thinking of applying to, and because、um, I don't, again, show probably didn't fill you in, but I'm from Ireland. So I actually have like a big knowledge of the European side of things as well,、um, even though I studied in the US for my master's. So, so just, just fire any questions my way. Okay, I'll leave it up to you guys. So, whoever wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> yes.、Uh-huh. Who wants to?、Okay. I gotta go the first for the、uh-huh. because I'm, I'm living in New York, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Where, where are you in New York? Oh,、uh, in the East Harlem, 110, next to their Central Park. Nice.、Yeah. Lovely. Oh, I wish、yeah. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> now that I apply to the、like, BFA for like,、uh, some of the school, in the、cool. five school, I submitted one FID and then one Polymola <laughs> in, in Italy. And then Institute of Marangoni. And then in the Paris is IFM and the PCA. Okay.、Oh, and also the Netherlands is the name is the, I don't know that. Helge? Art S in the Netherlands? 
Near the night, the KBAK. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Loyal 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 Loyal. Oh, yeah, I, I operated them. And then I didn't have get any result from the Netherlands the school, but the, except the, the other school I got the, through the first con- concept, I don't know, portfolio submitted, I can get the acceptance letter from them. Then okay. I'm going to go to the meeting in the later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, and then I will leave to the New York from in the April in this year. Because right. of the COVID nineteen, and I needed to, you know, prepare the for my visa, anything like that. Yeah, for sure. I totally hear you. It's a very difficult situation right now. And yeah, yeah. That we are applying to schools. It's like you're in this like zone where you want things to like work out and be accepted, but then you don't know if you're going to stay in New York or if you're going to end up in like Italy. You seem to have a couple of applications yeah. in Italy or in Europe, so. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think, like, especially because you'd be going back to Japan, I presume. You'd mm-hmm. show Be- before Japanese before people. I go to their school, yeah. Before going yeah, to so school, you I... can have time to apply for your visas properly and like slowly yeah. and not like do it like I did in a <laughs> two weeks. Yeah. I was like, ah! <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's very okay. hard right now. Yeah. Is, so, wh- sorry, what is your name? And I'm oh, sorry. I'm Taiga. Taiga, cool. Nice to meet yeah. you. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. Too. Okay, we can you can move on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll go next. Usually okay, cool. when Taiga goes, and then I'll go. It's that's <laughs> usually like a routine. <laughs> a bravery. Yeah. A bravery. <laughs> yep. Hi, uh, my name is Hero, like the the basketball player Tyler Hero. Perfect. Call me Hero. <laughs> um, I was uh, born in Japan, uh, raised in San Francisco. And then yeah. um, when I was 11, I came back to Japan. So I kind of grew up in both cultural, uh, mm-hmm. like cultures Beautiful. and like my parents were Japanese too. So I was raised in a Japanese household while being in America and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And so I was in uh, college going to Temple University, Japan campus. And then I was doing art there. And then I was, uh, I wanted to do fashion. And then I was, apply- I was applying for FIT for New York, right? And then... Um, applied there went to youtube because i didn't know anything about fashion uh, portfolio stuff so i had to do it all on my own looked it up and stuff and then yeah. failed two times and then i realized okay i really needed to get my shit together and so i went to new york and then uh went to pi art center and then um mitch uh show and then um he told me all well we actually applied to fit again and all of our classmates didn't actually go in like none of us did but um uh then we realized that there's a lot of other stuff that we can do about fashion like we the things that we knew about fashion was very narrow you know yeah. and so like we didn't know anything we were you know we were like 920 something like that and so um we started doing like portfolio making and then he started introducing us to like, you know, schools in Europe, what they do and what differs from FIT and stuff like that. Uh, sure. Of course, Parsons too. Yeah. And then um, I was very interested because I was, I'm really into like visions and, you know, thinking like creatively. Mm. And so, which I, that got me hooked on and then started creating portfolio concepts. And then I'm, I'm applying for, um, um, uh, IFM in Paris, uh, uh, bachelors or bachelors, uh, bachelors, 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 bachelors. Okay, cool. and then PCA, I got accepted and, oh, amazing. Um, and one in, uh, Belgium, Antwerp, and then cool. one with the same with Taiga, um, don't know how to pronounce it, the Hague. I'm assuming yeah, the, it. The, 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 it's a very big art school in the Netherlands. It's a quite famous for fine art and they have quite a good fashion program from, from my, oh. like, oh, school. really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Wait, so how do you actually pronounce the H-A-G-U-E? We call it the... No, no. H-A-U-G-E, right? H-A-G-U-E. Yeah. yeah so in oh. my pronunciation, I would say the Hague. Oh, the, the Hague. Hague. Okay. The Hague. Hague. Okay. Now, we, Hague. We call it the Hague, yeah. which means all the Japanese, <laughs> yeah. by the way. Yeah. By the way, we yeah. So we don't we really I don't know. know how to... I know from show, there was always moments where I was like, what are you... What? What? <laughs> what are you... <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? And then you could be like, write it down. And you were like, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, we we yeah, got we got the correct that. pronunciation. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, hey, you're actually hey, the first person to tell hey. us how to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so hey, now maybe in Dutch it might be slightly more harsh because the oh, yeah? Dutch speak oh. a little bit more Germanic, or like Haig or something. Oh, but, okay. But I oh. think an English anglicized pronunciation is the Haig. The Haig. Gotcha. Hey, okay. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah. Amazing. That's about it. Yeah. So so you've applied to fashion programs, is it? Fashion programs, have, yeah. Fashion okay. design. Cool. Okay, cool. Just just making sure because you mm -hmm. said you were kind of like intrigued by like the visions and things like that. I was wondering had you like looked into like curation or art direction mm -hmm. or things that you could like build fashion around, but yeah fashion. but see i didn't know about anything about that i just thought yeah. about like my my knowledge about fashion was so like small and so mm -hmm. you know narrow uh, shallow i mean not narrow. yeah and completely so, yeah i feel, so the, I feel yeah. yeah is a kind of a very similar story for me where i grew up was so like not fashion that when mm -hmm. I kind of realized it was in me and that it was something that I wanted to pursue. And I was quite young when I, when I figured that out, I was like, mm -hmm. like, and it wasn't like a definite, I need to go into fashion, but it was like <laughs> a, um, it was just a subtle awareness. And that was the first thing to, mm -hmm. I did was like, start like building out the knowledge of fashion and like mm -hmm. where these things exist and where I can go and where. How I did you get go. your information from? How did you get like, you know, the knowledge about Honestly, all that stuff. Because honestly, I, luckily, I got show, and he told me all about you know all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Show, show, yeah. and also show has like is like a library. Yeah, library. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, for me, it was very much like the cliched. Like I grew up in a town of like four hundred people, five hundred people, like tiny. Oh, so wow. my whole like access to fashion was through the internet. I actually mm. wasn't of those like nerds who watched fashion shows mm -hmm. um as they were coming out and then also like again the cliche like s saving money and buying magazines and mm -hmm. understanding like reading who the stylists were reading who the designers were that is a the powerful tool that people don't know because we're so used to fashion yeah. being visual yeah. but if you're yeah. able to begin to relate what the what pieces you're looking at to names and codes and styles and things <coughs> that, are happening so that you know let's say like this specific belgian designer is known for tailoring or this mm -hmm. person from the netherlands is known from for um textiles you know you begin to understand the codes and the kind of mm -hmm where things are happening so then the patterns you know, yeah the patterns that happen between the cities now i think now it's a little bit more blown out because our access to fashion is so much larger right, so yeah, our access yeah. to all of these things is so vast now and like mm -hmm. we can see something that's happening in milan at the same time that's happening in the czech republic where yeah. you don't even think fashion exists yeah. so at the same time there's an awareness of things that are going on in japan that are going on mm -hmm. in taiwan that are going in you know it can be anywhere now whereas mm -hmm. like when i was getting into it which was like pre-2010 it was very much like style.com which actually is a vogue runway now is a huge tool people underestimate it mm -hmm. just for looking mm -hmm. at knowledge it's not anything to do with like looking to copy or looking to like understand mm -hmm. it it's just literally for knowledge and knowledge mm -hmm. of how things look and how things should feel and what you respond to, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, it's totally true. Completely so, agree, you, agree, yeah. You said style.com style with a website for it and you get Yeah, so, so now it's Vogue Runway, but Vogue Runway um, oh. ate, ate up style.com. So if you go really far back, you have, you have thousands and thousands of shows from like, the 90s mm -hmm. the 2000s that's again just this vast library of things of these references and it doesn't like I said you're not looking at these things to be like I want to make this exact thing you're looking at these things to be like oh I like it the way this designer repeats these details I like it how mm. this designer handles oh. I like it how this designer handles something and then on top of that to an aside away from fashion you should be developing your eye in terms of like art and mm -hmm, design mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. all of the processes are linked you know it, and mm -hmm. it, like art can be high art or it can be 
anything it's like the world around you if you kind of look at it we're living now in constructed environments so you could look at the wrapper of a chocolate bar and respond to that because it is actually a piece of design you know right yeah that's true yeah even the smallest thing can become like something a huge design or something that can be inspired by a design yeah completely like sure all you have to do is kind of look at actually both of our collections in very different ways from Parsons MFA is like show is inspired by like things that were like happening in terms of the natural world in the constructed environment that in itself is a result of design that Mm -hmm. isn't it isn't like it wasn't it it's not an accident that these things are happening you know Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. I think like you need to on one hand like really dive deep into like the old old references go on archives like the um i don't know who's in the uk but maybe you've been to the victoria and albert um in london the vna um Mm -hmm. no but that's okay that's okay the (laughs) vna is the vna is one of the world's like foremost design museums and the the v and a victoria and albert oh okay Ah. Yeah, and they have the most amazing online archive, very similar mm. to the archive that the Met actually has online, um, mm. where you can find uh, references of historical costume and historical fashion, if that's kind of something that like tickles your fancy. And if, mm. and I think it's about equipping yourself with the language to mm-hmm. go alongside your knowledge of fashion. And usually the mm. language for art is a lot stronger the ability yeah. to describe and understand art is a lot better. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry, I went off an attendant. <laughs> who's, who's next? <laughs> <laughs> who's next? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, so I'm going to go next. So, hi. Hello. My name is Natsuki. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm not good speak English, but I try to speak uh, English, yeah. I don't care. If you're in a room of Japanese people, if you can, like, say something to them that they can help you articulate, go for it. I don't care. I'm not... Okay, thanks so I'm much. I'm not fussy. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I wish so, I could speak I Japanese. Read... <laughs> <laughs> At some point. Someday. Uh, yeah, someday. <laughs> someday. <laughs> We're going to make a conversation in Japanese. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, Sorry. So, uh, that's okay. okay, so I was born and raised in Japan. And uh, actually, before I studied fashion design, I majored in Spanish four years in university. Oh. Yes, but, yeah, so si, after si. I can speak Spanish. <laughs> Perfect. <Yes. laughs> And uh, uh, I changed it because I originally interested in like traditional technique, which is styling technique, and also I interested in the digital fashion. Mm-hmm. So yes, so that's why I changed my path, and uh, and now I'm developing my portfolio, and also I applied art university like. Finland. Finland. Oh, Maybe great. Finland. That's a wonderful university. Yeah, but they <laughs> kick out me. Kick out me. It's normal. <laughs> it's, it's fine. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> also, I applied IFM in Paris and the uh, Paris College of Art. And uh, in the future, I will apply FYT. Mm-hmm. Like that. Okay, cool. So you're going for bachelor's level? Ah, uh, no, oh. master. Master's level. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, so that's what, so difficult. Yeah, applying for master's level courses is is a different undertaking, um, mm. but it's not impossible. Like, don't don't feel like a rejection at master's level is not something worth harboring, um, because they the the what the, the they're just it's just a rotation belt and they'll see one thing and that's it that's mm-hmm. the thing that they want and you just mm-hmm. have to stay applying kind of pretty regularly catching these mm-hmm. people emailing these people like striking uh, really. conversations getting getting mm-hmm. 
um, getting contacts within the school to kind mm -hmm. of see um, um. what works. Okay, but it's cool that like you're going for it and that you're, um, you're in a position to be applying for masters because it, it is quite a lot of work you know, as is applying for the BA, but it's a different bachelor's yes, is right. just a different expectation because you haven't already done mm -hmm. the learning, you know, that they want you to do. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Okay. And last but not least. Thank you. No, not at all. Okay. Don't, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi, my name is Cole. Another Co. <laughs> we, yeah. we, we know a Co. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so uh, I'm not good at English. Again. So, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I went to fashion school in Japan, majored in fashion design, and graduated from two years ago. So, to thank you. Entrance exam for model class of art university in Europe. So in the post creating portfolio now. So yeah. nice to meet you. Yeah, cool. Okay, <laughs> cool. So so you're you're applying for so you've already done a bachelor's. Was it kind of a similar school to where Show went, or was it same? The same school. Okay. Yep. Okay. So now I have a, like a little knowledge of it. And so you did, you specialized in fashion design. Are you wanting to keep it on the fashion path or like stray a little bit and go into something else? Uh, first, I'm, I'm to go fashion school and for, I'm to go at university. So, cause, cause so, I want to study something new. I want to do study something new. So, so you'll just see kind of what happens where where you end up. Is that? Oh, is it? Am I frozen? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. No, no, so no! Come, don't, come again! Don't come be again. sorry. Don't be frozen. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Fuck, I'm um, no. So, so you? Oh, no, sorry, I lost my train of thought now. Um, <laughs> no, 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 you're fine. Is is it that? So you just literally want you want to go to Europe? Is that it? That's it. As it? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. Okay. Amazing. Okay. Thank you. No, no, don't, don't, it's all good. You're, you're always so polite. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, we basically say sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Like the Irish people. I, Irish people are always like, I'm sorry yeah. for breathing. I'm sorry for being alive. I'm sorry <laughs> for breathing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. things like, um, um, so this time, so I wanted to kind of like, you know, create this group chat. Is because of like you know some of them already like submitted their portfolios to the school and then some of them like you know going to have interviews and then some of them like you know need to email them again 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 so i kind of wanted to share the kind of like you know uh the nature of applying to the school you know what i mean yeah. like you know of course like you know some of them are applying to mfa as you said it's difficult you know it's so hard and it, yeah. it's so normal to be rejected you know yeah. it's because of you know oh. depends on the like, school depends on professors you know applying to mfa is like very tough you know yeah so then i just kind of wanted to give i just want to kind of like cheer you guys up you know kind of like you know maybe you guys are gonna like face to the diff like difficult time you know yeah. rejection is like so normal you know it's not yeah. about your talent of course, including a little bit, you know, portion of like talents or something, but you know, um, it just kind of like, you know, um, just, you know what I mean? Like it's just like, yeah. there's so more, normal, right? there's something so normal that when you're in fashion school, you be, or art school, actually, it, it, you begin to become very aware 
that rejection is a huge part of the learning process, even though that's bullshit and that shouldn't be the way, but it's like a huge part of like taking that step by step towards getting your goal. You know, um, I have loads of friends who've applied for masters all over the world um, who have been rejected. And then I have other, I have friends who like applied one year and just got straight in because they had the ingredients that the school was going for. Um, applying for bachelors, my process was a bit different because I was still in the education system in Ireland. So I did my bachelors in a small school in Ireland, which was very like art. It was a really, really fine art school. So it was quite, it was just small classes. I just decided to stay there. It was close to home. Education is basically free in Ireland, which is also... Um, oh, wow. Um, like my... My four years of education cost a quarter of a semester in Parsons. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh my God. God. <laughs> so so it, 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 was, it was a different thing. And I could have gone to the UK where like neighbors and culturally mm -hmm. very aligned. But I decided to stay in Ireland, kind of knowing that the reason I was doing that was that eventually I would get into a master's program that would take me to... Mm -hmm. London mm. or New York because I didn't really want to study bachelors in CSM or Westminster or you know th those schools mm. so but but then again when I was 18 I did get rejected from going to the London schools because I just didn't understand how they worked and their portfolio expectations and exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's that's very tough. I got rejected at FIT three times yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me twice <though. laughs> I have the rejected from the party twice. Yeah. yeah, but I'm over it. Like after the yeah. second time, you're so over it. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, right, what's right. Next? It's okay. What's it's okay. Next? You know. Next. Yeah. 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 All you have to, all you can do is try. That's yeah. the thing. That's the um, key point. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's kind of just like I would just like not take any of these rejections personally because really at the end of the day, it could like let's say I was sitting in a room. And I had never talked to any of you and you put your work in front.